It is time to hit the gas at Pocono. There goes Custer. He had his hand out the window and said, all right, let's roll, let's roll. A lot of super speedway tendencies at this track, but what, what we got? What's the over-under on how they're going to fin out? 5-1? 6-1? I'm going to go, it looks like 3 I, or 4. I could go 4. Yeah. I might get 5 with you if you want. It was the under. Custer drops it in there nice. Oh, look at Bell. Now, I've watched Bell a lot this year, and his car will be loose early in the runs, but that car will start to gain strength as the race goes on. These guys are all duking it up, strikes it up. Got a little draft action going down in the tunnel turn, but what do you think, Mikey, through here? You got to get down to single file. Well, you certainly tried, but I don't think anybody told Noah Gregson or Justin Allgaier that Allgaier was up three wide through the tunnel. You never see that. You get away with it early on when the track's cleaner. As the track starts to rubber in and you have those loose marbles and the dust and the dirt from the quickie dry, then it's tougher. But look at that. Allgaier on the outside in the number seven, making some moves already. Good start to the season. Had, had oh, him push. Oh, oh. oh, and there he goes. Talked about him too soon. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna Into be the hard. wall, Brad yeah. Jones. Man, that was a tough break. I, I didn't see what he did wrong to create that looseness, but the car just came around on him way quicker. It's going to step out at that max compression zone. And, man, it just came around on him. And that's that's a tough break. I mean, if you're feeling it, you got to make the call in your mind not to overdrive it when you're in the loosest corner at Pocono. I think that's right when he maybe tried to go back to the gas. Yep. Or, yeah, I think maybe just got on the gas a little bit and around he went. Speed should, you can dictate tempo a little more. We got trouble again. Huge mess off there. Holy smokes. Yellow is out, yellow is out, saving fuel. Chad Fincham. Joey Gase, looks like. 99 of Todd Peck also involved. Gase had run up toward the top 15, Adam, early in this race. and. That's the exit of the tunnel turn. Man, that, that's a place where, yeah, you end up with too many guys side by side and dirty air back there. And over those bumps in the tunnel turn, I can't wait to show our viewers later on the, the helmet cam from Haley. Through the tunnel oh, turn, it, it might have been where he got a little bit of help. Yeah, the 42 got hit by Joey Gase, it looked like. And you could see Gase clips, gets clipped by Chad Bencham after the contact. And that's, again, where everybody gets those runs off turn one, and you're running down the straightaway, and you're like, man, do I funnel out? Do I get in line? I might have like stood on the gas. What do we got here? Bell in trouble. Bell's in trouble. It's got to turn. Hang on to it, buddy. Oh, what a great job of just battling that thing and keeping it out of the no wall. No serious damage, so Bell will Yellow's be able to out. Get come a roll back, when you can. But what led to that? He was running fifth at the time. Third caution of the day. We've got the two stage breaks. We're going to get at least five cautions. The most we've ever had here is five. This has been a busy opening stage. And he's got to creep that car back to the pit road. But let's see what happened here. He's just, he's loose sideways. No one no, near him either. Nothing. He is trying to keep pace so that he can have a good run off the exit of one. Problem was, is he was right where uh, Brandon Jones had trouble earlier. Two cars getting sideways. Skidded along the wall, no damage there. What a big break this is for Michael Annette too, Adam. He's going to get to make that penalty call under caution. That'll help. They can also use strategy now. Maybe they put on their tires and get ready to run to the end of stage two. Yeah. I would guess you will. That's definitely how the one car is going to have to dig out of this hole. It was a tough call. NASCAR decided that he was ahead you know, or lunged too quickly ahead of the double zero. You can still beat the leader to the line, but they're saying that he went too quick. But again, turn one with these Xfinity cars is the loosest spot. We're still battling it out, but Custer's definitely going to take the, the checkered on this stage. Custer wins stage one for second. All guy hangs on over Reddit for the first time. And Earnhardt, his teammate, going in the wrong direction. Oh, Cindric, that outside lane. Buddy. Craxton luckily made a good move there to let Cindric get the grip back underneath his car. But there's Reddick knifing through everybody. I mean, we were just talking about the right rear damage a 20 car had. He's back up there in the lead. Look at him. And we were also talking about Reddick restarting 18th. He's eighth in one lap. How about that? This Plus is, 10. This is bananas. There's movement everywhere. That Allgaier loose in turn one again. These cars aren't quite up to temp yet. And there it is. Look at that. Cole Custer just lost all his momentum trying to make an aggressive move on Graxons. Yeah, he's definitely got some great exit speed. And now what's he going to do with it? Here we are. Five in front of turn three, of the final lap of this stage. That's the lap car of Vinnie Miller in front of him. What role will he play? Oh, he definitely made Allgaier change his lane. That completely caught Reddick off guard, and Allgaier will take this stage win. Definitely use the lap car to his advantage to make sure that Reddick kind of got checked in. All right. Fourth stage one of the year for Allgaier. 
Reddick was second. The difference maker all day. Everybody who's running a little too hot gets a little bit loose. Look how close. Right Just there. Makes the move right underneath him. What a great job, huh? Yep. And Allgaier, man, it's like if you want to give up one spot, you can give it up. Man, it, Custer just hit it right. Look at this car glued to the other line. Carves underneath him. Allgaier sideways. After the outside lane going. And there's cars there. Oh, they're going to hit. It's tight. They do. Contact. Oh, no. Bernard goes oh, right. around. Hang on. Keep her, keep her off the wall, buddy. Not bad, not bad. Caution is out. Uh, six and time. Car's starting already to get loose. Yeah, Jeffrey did nothing wrong. He opened up the bottom lane. He knew Cindric was going to be in trouble down there. Cindric tried to block off Reddick, and he spun Jeffrey out. But look at the job Austin does avoiding the spinning 18 car. They will have a chance to line up and go at it again. And, and another thing, Cindric has those four tires. He didn't get just two. He'll be strong. And that's, that's one of those situations where you got to know how no, that's Chase Briscoe behind him. Like, Let's roll, Briscoe. Give me some 11. And by that, I mean push. There we go. It's going to be an easy five wide out into turn one. Four. Yeah, it looks like five. Look at Priest. He got boxed in back there, but he's going to be able to fight through. Around goes Justin Allgaier. Oh. Big slide for Allgaier. He saves it. Caution is out. It around here. It's been the toughest thing on the restarts of making sure that the tire temp is up. That seven, just that, that angle thing. He had a bad angle into the corner and couldn't hang on to it. Looked a lot like Cindric uh, for our last caution. That, and he's down there in all the uh, the dirtier asphalt that hasn't been used much, too. Might have got some stuff on his tires. That's everybody running hard, everybody pushing hard, you know? It's just everybody going for it. Cole Custer, it's overtime, brought to you by Credit One Bank. Here we go. Up through the gears. Looks like Custer is jacked up by Reddick. The rear tire's on the ground almost. Brushes the wall a little bit from Reddick. Cars down to the inside. Did you see that one coming? Look Here comes Reddick. Crossover move. Woo. He takes the lead in turn one. Look at Made that. the move. That nine. I love that. That was, I mean, it was like the right timing. It was like Cole was looking in the mirror and Reddick just carved out of there and Jump completely the surprised him. Crossover move a little that, bit that, off the wall. Now he's going Back to block. And now Custer's got to deal with cars behind him. Huge switch. Remember, Reddick came down, got those two tires. That might be the difference. It was, right? Fresh left sides. It's amazing what that, that'll do. Or it's just Reddick is manhandling that thing. <laughs> wow. He is after the beast. He's doing it. Coming back to the white flag. Once we see that, the next flag will end it, whether it's the caution or the checkers. One to go here at Pocono. Love the way they're trying to break the draft, trying to make sure that they don't get any extra speed. Look at that, Reddick. He lost track of where he was going down into turn one. Brushed the right side up against the wall. He's in there, buddy. He is on it, man. He has been after it today. Look at this. What about that call by Randall Burnett to bring that car to pit road? Love that. And he still didn't get that clean exit off of one. And Custer's got a run at him. Through the tunnel turn, through the tough bumps. Custer's at least given himself a chance at it. What do we got still here? Two, just We're going to drive down in into three. three. And Custer Thanks could just go after roll, his rear bumper. Up. That's what I would just go after his rear bumper. One Throw in chance in for Cole Stop Custer. There. Oh, he's there. sideways. Ready to the track. Here he's here. got the move to the outside. Take it, take it, Adam. Custer to the inside of Reddick. He takes over the lead, and he's going to get the checkered flag. Cole Custer wins it at Pocono. That was insane. That was a Pocono race for the ages, if I've ever seen one here in the Xfinity Series. How about that? Second time we've had a last lap pass for the Xfinity Series here. Watch how Custer drives down there into the corner hard on him, and I think Reddick just gets loose and maybe it's anticipated what you were saying, Kurt. There was going to be some uh, contact into the rear bumper. He dove down in the corner a little harder than he needed to. That is the right observation, Mike. I think Reddick drove in there to just try to get away from possibly Custer going after his rear bumper. And he overdrove it, got loose, and opened the door. Third win of the year for Custer. He delivers at Pocono. to victory lane at Pocono. Cole Custer ready to celebrate, Regan. Well, an absolutely incredible last lap pass by Cole Custer as he finishes getting all of his gear off. What a victory for Cole Custer. His team's not even down here yet to spray him with Gatorade, but uh, 
nonetheless, one of the best moves of the season. Cole, you take that last restart, and did you think it was over when he got past you going into turn one there? And talk me through the last lap and what happened. Man, I, I mean, Tyler gave me a great push down there, and I have no idea how he made it stick when he drove down in there into turn one. Uh, I, didn't, I lost my brakes a little bit halfway through where they weren't as good, but I have no idea how he made it stick. But uh, our FIMS, FIMS Ford Mustang was just awesome. Thanks for FIMS for coming on for this race. They're just awesome people. Uh, but, man, I was nervous once he got by me, but uh, he was just uh, drove in the corner real deep and then got up the track a little bit, and I was just had my downshift uh, planned right and was able to get by him. But just I uh, can't thank all the guys enough. They just, did, did you force the mistake right there? Uh, I mean, I think he knew I was going to go in there and try and pack air on him, so he tried to drive it in deep, but uh, I think that's what did it. Congratulations, Cole. <laughs>